Hey, Jared Vins here with Edge Products. I'm here today to show you off the new product from Edge. The new product is a brand new platform. It's called our Pulsar. The Pulsar is like an ECU type module, so it plugs directly into the ECU that we'll go over today, and it controls the throttle percentage and controls the timing and spark advance of a truck. So today we're gonna go over the 15 to 18 Ram 5.7 liter Hemi. It works with both the six speed and eight speed trucks. So what the Pulsar are is what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna take off the stock connectors on that stock ECU. This will actually plug right into the stock ECU and those stock connectors will plug onto this side of our Pulsar module. That basically is all we need to do. There's some bolts that will show you how to remove it and how to get to it. Once the product installed, the great thing about this new product is that you can control the power levels on the fly by using the up and down power gains, mileage gains on the cruise control. So while you're driving down the road, if your cruise control's off, you can hit the up or down power level. So there's eight different power levels on the Pulsar product itself. We go from stock up to the performance power level. So if you want stock with MDS off, you go to power level two, now your MDS is off. If you want fuel economy, there's a fuel economy level that decreases the throttle sensitivity to help you use less throttle and acceleration to use less fuel to get up to speed and save fuel economy. Now maybe you're looking for towing and you need a little performance to eliminate downshifting, to keep the RPMs up while you're towing or passing somebody. Put it in level five or six and now you're in a towing level. So you can actually increase your towing performance, you can keep the RPMs up, you can pass that guy on the freeway with towing your boat to the lake. So depending on what you want, it gives you a better throttle response over stock and it gives you the RPMs with the better power gains. Maybe you want all out power levels. So if you want to drive around all the time with the full potential out of your Hemi, or if you want to drive around and have that throttle response there right away, power level seven and eight is your answer. Power level seven and eight increases the throttle response, increases the pickup, and makes max horsepower gains there. Um, also, down the road, this product will be custom tunable. So with new custom tuning coming out for Edge next year, you'll be able to actually add performance levels in there that are custom tuned to modifications that you make. Maybe you make a supercharger, maybe you put cams, maybe you put an exhaust, an intake, that you need to modify your tuning specifically for your truck. Well, Edge will have the answer for you that you'll be able to load it. So if you want to update this product or load your tuning to it, you can actually do it right through the OBD2 port. So purchase a cable from Edge products that updates the OBD2 port to USB, plug your computer in, download the updates right through the USB port. Don't even have to unhook the Pulsar to update the product itself. Stays in the truck, connected, ready to go. So with MDS, MDS stands for multiple displacement. So it's basically what's happening is when you're cruising down the road, the MDS turns on and turns to four cylinder mode. Um, with the ability of the Pulsar, you can actually go into a power level that turns your MDS off. The great thing about turning this off is it actually keeps it in eight cylinder mode, so you always have your power, but it also wears the engine down properly. Um, a lot of people don't like MDS turning on because when it runs four cylinder, the oil burn in your motor is unequal and will actually cause issues to your motor. So a lot of people want to turn MDS off. This is a great way to do it. Plugs in the ECU, change the power level to the MDS off mode, and also get a little bit better performance, mileage, towing, throttle response out of your truck at the same time. One of the best things about this product as well is in the market, in order to tune these trucks, you have to remove the ECU and get a modified ECU. So basically you have to go in there and open up the ECU, modify it to where a programmer can pro program it through the OBD2 port. With the Pulsar, there's none of that. You leave your stock ECU in there, you plug the Pulsar in, and if you need to take it in for warranty, you pull the Pulsar back off, plug your stock connectors back in the ECU, and you're back to stock. So a simple, easy install without ever touching your ECU or sending it in to anybody. So today we're gonna to go over the Pulsar inst installation. Um, as you can see, this is our Pulsar module. There's gonna be three bolts. In your stock ECU, there's three bolts that we'll take out. Once we take out those bolts, we're gonna actually replace them with these longer ones so we can get all the way in there and tighten it up. There's washers for the bolts as well. And then we have some zip ties that we're gonna cut the stock zip ties off and re-zip tie these back in place. And this is your Pulsar, we're gonna go through the install. So now we're gonna go through an install on the Pulsar product. The PCM is located on the firewall on the passenger side of the engine compartment. Um, we can actually get to everything and access it without removing anything, but to show you guys and give us a little bit more room to do this, we're gonna remove the air box. It's pretty simple. We're basically gonna take a eight millimeter wrench here or a flathead screwdriver. We're gonna loosen up the hose clamp there. Once we loosen it up enough, there's also this uh, breather valve right here for the crankcase. We're gonna kind of break that off and slide it out 
don't break it, but slide it out. And once it removes there, I'm just gonna pop off the hose here. Okay, and then basically these are just stuck in here. So we're just gonna lift it up, and it comes right out. So now we have the air box removed out of the way that gives us more access to the PCM. Um, you can get in here and kind of check it out and see what's going on. A couple things we want to note before we get going. You're going to need a pair of side snips because there are two uh, zip ties in there we're going to clip and then you'll need a 10 millimeter wrench. So we got our 10 millimeter wrench, our side snips and that's really the only tools we need to install the poles are on this product. Um, we do have some zip ties, we'll zip ties the wires back together once we're done with that part. All right, so when you're looking at the PCM in here on the truck, there's two main connectors going into the PCM with red clips. Those red clips are actually what holds it in place. There's two little giveaway clips right above the red clip. There's a little black one. You need to push it in, and you can lift that clip up. That loosens it so it's not locked into place. Um, on a stock truck that hasn't ever been removed before, they are pretty stiff in there, so be careful when you're doing this. Make sure you have the handle in a couple good locations so you can actually start to pull it up, you're actually gonna pull the lever up a little bit, kind of wiggle the connector a little bit, loosen it up, lift it all the way up. So don't force it and break it, just nice and smooth to get it out of the place, and then you're gonna be able to pull it off. Um, there's three locations where there's gonna be bolts stuck in the ECU and the firewall. So you're gonna have two on the left-hand side and one on the right-hand side. And then the zip ties are actually right below that, there are two spots right below the ECU where the main harnesses are zip tied into the connector. So we're gonna start by uh, unclipping those zip ties real quick, unhook the connector so that's off, and then start removing the bolts. Another thing you'll wanna make sure of is when you remove the bolts, that the ECU will now actually come off since it's not connected to anything. So make sure that last bolt that you have, that you have it secured and you don't drop it down and damage your PCM. So we're gonna start with the clips and we're gonna take that off and go through the installation here. All right, I'm gonna clip these, push that in, pull it up, kind of wiggle it so it's nice and smooth. Once it goes off, the red clips goes all the way to the top. That means it's loose, we can pull it off. Same thing on this side, clip it up, pull it out right there. So now we have our zip ties unclipped, the main connectors unhooked, and now we can access the bolts locking our PCM into the firewall. These aren't too far in there, so you can actually go in and once you loosen them up, spin them with your fingers and pull them out. Make sure you do not lose these in case you need to put them back in. We will not use these ones with the Pulsar product in place, but we, if you want to keep them and install the PCM without the Pulsar in there, save these so you can put them back in later. So I'm going to put them right here for now. I'm going to loosen all of them up. All right, so I've got this last bolt loosened. I'm gonna reach in here, untighten it, and I'm gonna hold the PCM in place as well so it doesn't fall. And to remove the PCM is as simple as that. So basically we've gone through, removed everything to get to the PCM. Now we can actually put our Pulsar product on here, put everything back together, and then I'll go through the process there. So I'm gonna go over and grab the Pulsar and the three provided bolts to put this back together. All right, so we got our Pulsar product here. As you notice, the connectors can only go in a certain way. These ones are for the main connectors, they can't go there. And you'll also notice that there are two bolt locations that will go on this side of the ECU with the one on that side. So make sure when you put it in here, it goes in nice and smooth. We're not trying to damage anything. Um, you should be okay. Push it together. And you can see, notice here on the bottom line that there's no room between that connector and the Pulsar product itself. All right guys, so we've hooked our Pulsar to the PCM. Now we're gonna put it back in place. Get the provided bolt with the washer on it. 
Um, I like to start it up here in this corner so we can reach to it easy, start one of them, and go through all three of them to get them started. Once they're all started, then we can start locking them up in place. All right, so I've gone in there, I finger tight all three bolts. So all I gotta do now is grab our 10 millimeter wrench, tighten them up, don't over tie them, just make them nice and firm to where they're not gonna come out. All right, now this is kind of why we took off the uh, zip ties in the first place, because now we have more room for our connectors to pull off the connectors that they were down there and push them in the right spot. As you know, as we talked before, the two connectors are keyed so they can only go in a certain way. So if they're not fitting, make sure you're checking them, they're not forcing them in. Plus, they are actually coordinated by color, so one's gray and one's more of a yellow color. So we're basically gonna take it, pull it out to where it goes pretty straight in. Don't put them in on an angle, try to get them as straight as possible. Push them in there nice and tight. And then once you get them in tight, lower that lead, red lever. That will lock into place. Do that to both of them. And just like that, the pulse are installed on this truck. So what we'll do now is go back and put our uh, intake back together, get ready to go and go do some testing on this, show you how this product works. So once I go up to level three, I am not changing the accelerator position at all. And you're gonna actually see the RPMs and mile per hour go down when it goes in a fuel economy mode. And hit it again. Now fuel economy MDS off. Hit it again. Now we're in power level five, which is a performance level. No change of the accelerator at all. Power level six is MDS off. Power level seven, you can hear the truck take off more. This is without ever changing the accelerator position. Go up to eight. I go back to stock, and you'll see the truck start to go back down. Without ever changing the accelerator position, the truck will actually change real tuning while you're driving down the road. True shift on the fly. So basically what the pulse are, a lot of guys on gas motors are wondering, you know, what kind of performance it gets. Um, it's really equivalent to what all the tuners are out there. You're gonna get anywhere from 10, 15 horsepower to the rear wheels. Um, the biggest thing on a gas truck is the drivability of it. Where is the power? Where does it come in? Is it clear in the end of the curve? Is it low end torque? What is it? Um, really the full drivability is what the Pulsar is offering. So depending what you're going for, the mileage or the performance or the towing capability, um, the Pulsar is gonna give you that power level and the throttle, torque, and horsepower where you need it most when you're driving the vehicle for that purpose. Um, one of the other cool things about the Pulsar product is it's actually compatible with our Insight CS and Insight CTS. Um, basically is you plug in an OBD2 port, set it up on the screen here, you can mount it in the windshield, and now you have a full gauge monitor. So instead of using the buttons here, you can actually reach up and touch our screen, and that will actually control the Pulsar as well. So there are some other options coming down with the Pulsar, but really for the Pulsar, if you want that quick, easy horsepower game, better drivability, simple plug-in, that's all you need. You plug that Pulsar in, you see how fast it took to install it. Once you get installed, you come in here and you just change the power levels up and down while you drive down the road. So simple, quick product, but yet it really delivers. Um, that's the Pulsar here, so we'll take it out and do a little live drive and see how it works. <laughs>